In your most recent uh, book, What is Left, The Daughter, uh, it's listed actually as an historic novel on, on, oh. on some sites, which I thought was very interesting. I, is that how you see it at all? I think any categorization of fiction is probably reductionist in thinking. Um, that is to say, it's got, it's set in the past. It's, sure. it's World well, War II well, era. It, it, it's, it's certainly it's has actually, real events. It's actually set in the present, Fran, because he's writing the book in 1967. Right. The whole thing is epistolary. So the, so. It's one letter. It's an epistolary novel. But the central action is entirely in the 1940s. So uh, I would answer that question by saying that I'm old enough to have seen the cover of Time magazine, which had 1984 on it. And suddenly, the book that was always a dystopia was now an historical novel. Um, so I think that for people that lived closer to 19, uh, the 1940s, it wouldn't seem historical. Mm -hmm. But for somebody who's 18, it probably would. Well, and, and how much evolves from your research? How much is nonfiction? Non uh, uh, well, four or five elements. But the rest is, 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 is an act of the imagination, of synthesizing the idea of character and what might have happened. So I stop researching when what I find out as facts starts to trespass on what I imagined might have happened. And somewhere in there is the idea of verisimilitude. What, what's the sense of truth of things? If I wanted just to write about history, I would write a nonfiction book. Um, and, and you and you have written a couple of nonfiction sure, mem yeah. memoirs. Yes. Do they influence your your fiction very or vice much, versa? Very much, very much. The the tone of the novella I'm working on now is is very um, not documentary, but it's more expository. But that requires you then to have an undercurrent of emotion that finally works its way into the language, so it's not monotonal and flat. So these things are uh, labored over. So it's, uh, it's, it's his, you bring that history alive. Oh, yeah. Very well, one hopes. One yeah. hopes. Howard Norman, thank you so much. Thank you.